So supply could be the easiest Shopify theme for any beginners. However, is that for everyone? I think some people might love it, but some people might not be the fan of it. Hi, welcome to the new series of Shopify theme review by PageFly team. I'm June, and if you already subscribe to PageFly YouTube channel, perhaps you may know about some of our videos about Shopify theme reviews like Prestige, Motion, or Minimal Theme, etc. With the new series, we'll be continuing to give you our thoughts towards many popular Shopify themes, but there will be many giveaways events as well. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get the latest updates on the following events. Now, as you can see here, I guess you all know in today's video, we're gonna walk you through all features of the Supply theme, one of the most popular free themes on the Shopify theme store. If you want to try the theme with a demo store, you can check out the Shopify 14 day free trial link in the description box below. And we also have a detailed review article about supply theme. So if you are interested in reading, you can check it out there too. Okay, enough of talking. I think it's time to start with the supply theme review right now. Homepage. Here we are in the Shopify editor board. I've already installed the supply theme to create a demo store here. If you don't want to use the default theme color of the supply theme, you can go to the general theme settings and change the color palette like I did here. And it's better to set up typography, card, social media and so on first before actually building your store. Okay, now get back to the home page. I really have to say that supply theme represents the true meaning of supply because it's built for stores with large catalogs and yes, large inventory stores. The headers looks very basic where you can add logo there. Uh, 400 pixel wide is recommended because you don't want a too big logo. It will stretch out the height of the header and people will hardly see the content below. And there's a product search bar and the card here and it looks like a fundamental e-commerce marketplace. A navigation, as you can see, there's many links with drop down menu items. This helps you organize your menu bar when you have a great number of products and collections. One of the main features of supply theme is featured collections on the homepage. This is why I said supply is choose like a um, theme for suppliers. Very straightforward. You can display more than 50 products on the homepage and up to six collections. Under each collection, you can add maximums of five rows and five products per row. And yes, your store will be like a small version of a marketplace like Etsy. And one tip for product images, the recommended size is 1024 by 1024 pixels you should prepare it before adding your product images if you want the sections look coordinated like this the price you can show the saved amounts or compared price to let people know about the discounts they can have also, you can see the collection list here and put them under the slideshow. This helps customers choose which collections they are interested in faster. And mentioning the slideshow, it is a main feature of the theme as well. You can add stunning hero banners here and set the running time of the slides. A minus point of supply theme is it doesn't support text or CDA buttons on the image slide. So you want to have text on the slideshow. The best solution is to design images with text beforehand. And for the banners with text, the ideal transition time for each slide is about 10 to 12 seconds. If you want to add more content on the homepage, you can add more sections like image with text, rich text, video or map 
But our advice is you shouldn't add too much content if you decide to show many products on the homepage because it will affect the loading speed a lot. And for the footer here, you can add quick links to more information pages like contact, shipping, refund policies, and so on. And also the newsletter sign up part like this. Okay, so that is the features of the homepage of the supply team. Product page. Here is the product page features that you can see in the editor board. With this supply theme, you can enable image zoom effect to let customers inspect products more closely when they hover the mouse on the images. You can show quantity selector here, remaining quantity message, and you should show saved amount or compare a price here as well. And related products here is a good thing for upselling. The dynamic checkout button here, if you set up PayPal or Apple Pay payment options, it will have the typical checkout button that you may have seen on many online shops. And here the product reviews. If you install the product reviews app from Shopify, it's a free app. People can add their reviews on your product pages. When you install the app, it would be some code editing involved, but trust me, just follow their tutorial is super easy. Let me show you how. Okay, so after installing the product reviews app, you see the instruction like this. All you have to do is copy this code snippet here and put it in the sections product template dot liquid. And where you will put it here between the product description and show share button line code. Now you copy it. Go to the online store, then theme actions and edit code. Now find the sections then product template dot liquid. Then to find the line between the two code line, you click on any code in the board here. Then you in the keyboard, press command F. Then you search for product description. You will see here the code line product description and show share button. I already pasted the code here. But the point is you paste the code between the two line here and then just save it. Back to the product page, you can see people can add review here. I think the supply theme let you show many content on the product page. However, one thing I don't really like about the product page is uh, if you look at the product images, the variant images of the product is under the main image. So they are not above the fold. You know, people have to scroll down to see the variant images. Personally, I'd like to have the variant images on the left or the right of the main image so that people can have a sneak peek of the products in many angles right above the fold. And that's better for user experience. But all in all, the product page looks very clean and easy to follow because of the theme layout. Collection page. For the collection page, the key feature you should pay attention is the collection filtering in the sidebar. It's like a mini menu bar here to find your products by groups or tags. The tags when you add new products in the products sections. About group filtering, Shopify already has a very detailed tutorial for it. I'll put the link in the description box below so you can check out there. Here you can have some options with the price and even show the review stars if you install the product reviews app from Shopify. Well, I think the sidebar menu here is great to help people find the product they want more quickly. If you use uh, sorting out products by tags, make sure you do keyword research, like what keyword people often search to find your products. It's better for SEO. Our verdict. 
Well, we love the supply theme at a certain level. It's very clean, simple, and easy to use. And because it's designed by Shopify, you have full support documents for it, and can even chat with support advisors 24 hours seven. But you can only have the basic performance improvement. If you want more advanced modification, you can reach out to Shopify experts, which will cost you some expenses. But another way you can do is to go to Shopify community and search for supply theme. There are tons of discussions about it. You may find some people that have the same problems as yours. For example, I actually sometimes don't like the layout of supply theme that much. I want my slideshow to be full width or other content parts to be full width. But to do that, you have to edit the code. So I wandered through the Shopify community and searched for it, and I saw some people that had the same problems. And yes, there are many solutions from Shopify experts or gurus, and you can actually learn a lot from them. But that's just when you're comfortable with editing the code yourself. If not, you must find agencies or technical team to help you with the customization. So supply could be the easiest Shopify theme for any beginners. However, is that for everyone? I think some people might love it, but some people might not be the fan of it. Especially for those who love dynamic theme with more features and cool layout. But if you love the simpleness and need a theme that can support your large inventory stores, supply is the fading option. So that's it. That's our review of the Shopify supply theme. If you like it, you can leave a thumbs up or comment down below. And remember to subscribe to our page for our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon to get notification of the latest Shopify theme review videos in the future. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.